Welcome back to another issue of Verbrugge View. I'm Bloomington City Manager Jamie Verbrugge. With me is Mike Perrin, 10-year veteran of the Bloomington Police Department and one of our canine handlers. Mike, welcome to the show. Thank Tell you. us what you do as a canine officer, how you became interested in it, and what kind of training you go through. Once I started the Bloomington Police Department, I got to work with some of the canine handlers in the street, and I saw how interesting it was to work with the police canine as your partner. And also, you get to be out there looking for the criminals or looking for um, lost children, walk away elderly. Uh, we get involved with the community in lots of different ways that uh, patrol officers can't. School's 12 weeks long. It's held at the St. Paul Police Department. Uh, and there you go through all the basic obedience, all the criminal apprehension, the human scent detection. Everything is done there at that school. After 12 weeks, you've reached uh, what is a baseline of knowledge and ability that you and your partner need to succeed. Okay, and your partner is Ted. Ted comes to us from where? Ted comes from Eastern Europe, uh, but we got him from a breeder out of Florida. And then he gets shipped up here and lands at my house, and then we go to school, and he's mine forever, hopefully. What kind of dog is Ted? Ted's a Malinois, which is, uh, uh, they've been used for a long time, but it's largely new to the police area, in this area. Uh, they've been military dogs, uh, but uh, now they're becoming part of the uh, police force in greater numbers. Ted only gets fed for working. Uh, so from day one, he's had to earn his food. So between sitting or going to a down or healing, um, so every day that he wants to eat, we go out, we do a little bit of healing and obedience, and then I'll release him for his food. So nothing comes free, and just like in our, just like in our world, you got to earn your you got to earn your keep. <laughs> so does this guy. So every day at home, it's a minimum of 30 minutes of just simple obedience, just simply making sure that he understands that he needs to stay sharp on that, and then he earns his food. Well, if that was my compensation plan, I'd want to be paid in ding dongs. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know that that's what he's getting paid. <laughs> he just, his right. bowl of food is plenty for him. <laughs> so uh, you mentioned that Ted will get to stay with you uh, forever once you become his handler and his partner. Uh, how long do we expect Ted to be part of the force? You hope you hope to get five to seven years. Okay. Uh, every dog is a little bit different because of health mm -hmm. and also because of injury. So I hear that Ted has quite a personality. In fact, he's quite a uh, social media darling. Ted has found his way on our Twitter page a few times. Yeah. I found uh, after Ted and I have been hanging out for a while that he that he just he has his own little personality about doing things and getting into things, and he's willing to pose for pictures. So I did everything I could to try to. Uh, try to bring that to life through Twitter and I wanted to make sure I stayed off Twitter and it was all just about Ted So sometimes if you go back in the Twitter feed, you'll find some stuff of Ted and I believe they were using the hashtag of uh, Ted's canine adventures <laughs> And they're all listed under that. <laughs> they're excellent adventures, yeah. right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, how many other canine officers do we have working for the city of Bloomington? We have six total. Uh, one is a narcotic only dog. Okay. One is a single-purpose bomb dog. And we have four dual trained dogs just like Ted. They're patrol dogs. They're trained in uh, criminal apprehension, which is your patrol work, right. which is your scent work, and also in narcotic detention. Has Ted had any uh, signature uh, apprehensions during his patrol duty? It, Ted's very first apprehension, uh, right out of school, two years ago, uh, there was a car chase that ended over by the Mall of America, mm -hmm. and the driver had fled and we couldn't find him. And Ted and I got there, and wouldn't our, our be our luck, but it was a complete monsoon of a storm. And we're out searching. We were out for uh, over an hour. When I was done, I was pouring water out of my boots. The very last minute, we go back to wherever we started, and Ted found a guy had crawled up underneath the semi truck, and he was hiding on top of the axles. Really? Never would have seen him. Never would have known he was there. Ted just started barking at a tire, and I thought, boy, someone's got to be in there. And sure enough, Ted went underneath there and drug him out. And Went to jail. So even in a deluge like that, he's yes. able to pick up the scent. He was a lot more willing to work than I was, I'll tell you that. It's pretty amazing. Well, since he likes to work, uh, why don't you show us a little bit of uh, the work that you do with Ted? Sure. This is just basic obedience. We have to show that we have control over the canine verbally off lead. And this is just walking control. In. We'll use this in situations where we want to control him better, maybe in crowds, so he can be between my legs. Not as much control with left and right. Right. Heel. In. Down. So they're also trained with non-verbal hand commands. So if we need to communicate from a distance, he's able to look at me and watch for a hand command without it needing to use verbals.
It's all ball and food driven. Ted works for his food, and that ball is his lifeline. He's, if, when he gets out of his kennel, he searches the backyard, every corner of it, until he finds his ball. Now that you've seen some of Ted's obedience, what do you think about some criminal apprehension? Well, this is probably every police officer's dream is to take down the city manager. So I'm going to let you live out your dream right now. Go ahead and back away, sir. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So now we would do a suspect search. The dog's trained to watch the suspect as I search him for weapons. Dog maintains stability, even though I'm doing this. If the suspect were to engage me, the dog is automatically trained to defend me. Mike, is it okay if I kiss and make up with Ted? Go right ahead. All right. He's got a short memory. Come here, Ted. Well, hopefully you won't have to meet Ted out on the street anytime soon, but know that Ted and his partner, Officer Perrin, are keeping the residents of Bloomington safe every time that they go out on patrol. Once again, with the Verbrugge view, we've shown you another side of Bloomington that maybe you haven't seen before, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.